We are pleased and we're very grateful for the support in the uh, community that uh, my client has received because without them he'd still be in custody in Canada. And, uh, we're very happy he's out and he can go forward and uh, be in a place where he's more according to his, his real person rather than a prison where he's been in the last few weeks. So everything's good today. What, have, what has prison been like for him? Well, it's been okay for him. Um, um, he's safe in there, in, in, in relatively speaking because of his size, but prison's not good for anybody. Anyone who's not accustomed to that kind of life is, is not going to uh, be very happy. It's a very disoriented experience for someone like him. You know, you're in a, you're in a jail cell, simple as that. You're locked up like a common criminal. And it's, it's tough. It's really tough for someone from his background. Okay. Mentally, he's feeling a lot better this morning than he was uh, last week, but it's depressing. You know, you're, you're in jail, and um, I think he'll be fine. Though. I think he's got the support he needs, and he'll just be fine from here on in. So, so he is a person who is released pending an exclusion hearing. An exclusion hearing is a hearing made, well not like that, but where evidence is tendered that the person uh, has done something that would cause him to be excluded from Canada and is not a permanent resident or a Canadian citizen. And in this case the allegation is he made false statements on a visa application. That is a ground for exclusion, as are many other things. 